All right, guys, so today we're going over 10 one, which is circles and circumference. A circle is the locus or set of all points in a plane <clears throat> equidistant from a given point called the center of a circle. Segments that intersect a circle have special names. So we have a radius um, is a segment with endpoints at the center and on the, on, the, on the circle, so at the center and on the circle. So in this example, CD, and we're looking at this circle right here, CD, CE, and CF are all radii of circle C. A chord is a segment with endpoints on the circle. So A, B, and D, E are chords. A diameter of a circle is a chord that passes through the center and is made up of the collinear radii. So D, E is a diameter of circle C. Diameter D, E is made up of collinear radii C, D, and C, E. By definition, there we go. By definition, the distance from the center of a circle to any point on the circle is always the same. Therefore, all radii R of a circle are congruent. Since the diameter D is composed of two radii, all diameters of a circle are also congruent. The words radius and diameter are used to describe lengths as well as segments. Since the circle has many different radii and diameters, the phrase the radius and the diameter refer to the lengths rather than the segments. So radius and diameter relationships, the radius is one half of the diameter or D divided by two. The diameter is two times the radius. As with other figure pairs of circles can be congruent, similar, or share other special relationships. So two circles are congruent if and only if they have congruent radii. All circles are similar. And then concentric circles are coplanar circles that have the same center. So a circle within a circle is what that is. Coplanar points that lie in the same plane, two circles can intersect in two different, in two different ways. Two points of intersection, so you've got like a set, like crisscross right here, like a Venn diagram. One point of intersection, so right there, or no points of intersection. The circumference of a circle is the distance around the circle. By definition, the ratio of C over D is an irrational number called pi. Two formulas for circumference can be derived by using this definition. And it's C equals pi D, where D is the diameter, or C equals 2 pi R, because 2 times R is the same thing as D. So just depending on what they give us, either the diameter or the radius is which one we use. Since pi is irrational, its value cannot be given as a terminating decimal. Using a value of 3 for pi provides a quick estimate in calculations. Using a value of 3.14 or 22 over 7 provides a closer approximation. This is the approximation you'll use. For me, 3.14. For the most accurate approximation, use the pi key on the calculator unless stated otherwise. Assume that in this text, a calculator with a pi key was used to generate the answers. A polygon is inscribed in the circle if all of its vertices lie on the circle. A circle is circumscribed about a polygon if it contains all the vertices in the polygon. Quadrilateral LMNP is inscribed in circle K. Circle K is circumscribed about quadrilateral LMNP. So a circum, uh, circum circle is a circle that passes through all the vertices of a polygon. All right, so one through four, we're gonna be using this circle to answer these questions, okay? So naming the circle, we always name it by the center. The center is N. So circle N is our name of the circle. And then we're identifying a chord. So a chord is just a uh, segment with endpoints on the edges. So we've got EF is one chord, and we could also say DF is another chord. So I'll put both down. Name a diameter. So the diameter, again, it, it's a segment that goes from the two endpoints of the circle, but it goes through the center of the circle. So it's gotta be DF, we're gonna be going through our center. And then our radius, we've got a few of these. A radius is any segment that starts on the edge and goes to the circle or vice versa. So we've got NC, ND, NE, and NF. So NE, ND, NC, and NF. All right, so if circle CN, or if CN, so again, we're still looking at this guy. If CN is eight centimeters, what find DN? Well, since these are both radii, DN and CN are radii, 
we know they're gonna be congruent. So DN will equal eight centimeters. And then it asks if EN is 13. So EN is 13. What is the diameter of the circle? Well, the radius is half as much as the diameter. So if we just multiply this 13 by two, which is 26. So the diameter is 26 centimeters. All right, the diameters of A, B, and C are eight, 18, and 11 inches respectively. Find each measure, F, G. So if the diameter of circle A, so if this diameter for this whole circle is eight, that means this dot to this dot is the radius is four, okay? Same thing would work on this circle as well. So if we wanna find FG, we're gonna do 18, so the diameter of this whole big circle, circle B, 18 minus this radius, four. So we get 14. For FB, so from here to here, we're just gonna do the radius of the big circle B, which is nine, it's half of 18, minus four. Number seven, the circular ride described at the beginning of the lesson has a diameter of 44 feet. What is the radius and circumference of the ride round to the nearest hundredth if necessary? So the diameter is 44 and it wants us to know the radius and the circumference. The radius is gonna be half as much as the diameter, so it's 22 feet. And the circumference, we can use either formula of over here because we have both, we have the diameter and we have the radius. I went ahead and used the one with the radius. So two pi and then R is 22. So I put that into our calculator, I did two times the pi button times 22. So C equals 138.23 feet. The circumference of the circular swimming pool shown is about 56.5 feet. What is the diameter and radius of the pool round of the nearest hundredth? So this time they gave us the circumference. So we're gonna use that C equals, and I did pi D. Okay, so I did pi, a different one this time. So circumference is 56.5 equals pi D. Remember pi is just a number, so we can divide by pi. So 56.5 divided by pi is 17.98, and that is equal to our diameter. So there's part of our answer. To find the radius, we just divide this by two. So 17.98 divided by two would equal R. So then R equals 8.99. And the last one, the right triangle shown is inscribed in circle D. Find the exact circumference of circle D. So what I did here, I found the, um, I have to find the diameter here, so I need to find this, okay? And that is just doing the Pythagorean theorem. So I did eight squared plus 12 squared would equal X squared. So I named this line X, the diameter X. Eight squared is 64. 12 squared is 144 equals x squared. 64 plus 144 is 208 equals x squared. I square root both sides to get 14.4 equals x. And remember, this is the diameter. So that's the diameter. We need to find the circumference so since we're finding the circumference, we're using C equals pi D, because we have the diameter. So C will equal pi times 14.4. Multiply 14.4 times pi, you get 45.2 centimeters. And that's all for 10-1.